Hi, hello, and welcome to... I have no idea what I'm doing, to be honest. For a while, I've been seeing these, like, pick a card readings going on around YouTube, going on. I decided to give it a test. And I don't really believe in, like, predicting my future, but at the same time, I'm attracted to, like, the supernatural. If anyone was to read any of my childhood writings, every single one of them is, like, about traveling time, galaxies that I made up, magic systems. Now, here's my theory for this. I think that either they're so general that they fit everyone, or there can be something there. Some people talk about like energy and you kind of like what you're attracted to is kind of like on the same vibe. Not so present. Like, am I loud enough? Am I not loud enough? The one I can really like test this with is maybe a change of location could be good. No. Past, present, future one because that I stole from my mom. I don't feel the f I'm gonna watch this. It's for myself. I think I should get a crystal. I don't know what the hell will happen in the future. I'm super confused. I feel I'm gonna choose the very first one that came up. Something asks me to pick something, my eyes always go towards the middle. So whatever it says, I can kind of believe, but it cannot f me about my past or. I think I should look and try to pick one first. Picking the one on the edge. I don't know why. Maybe it's just my head messing with me or maybe something is actually working. So let's see. If it's gonna be accurate, I'm gonna go crazy. Group number one. Okay, let's go. Immediately what I'm seeing group number one is your whole entire life you've probably struggled to feel loved from other people, which is what I'm seeing with the lovers in the seven of wands. It looks like to me you guys have a hard time feeling if someone loves you. Fuck, don't make me cry. This is actually accurate. I don't know if this is something like really general that a lot of people would relate to. Pretty much my family's like really messed up, so there's nothing there. And I felt hard time trusting people. And I have a really hard time in relationships because I always feel- Let's keep going. I like this so far. You have to work to earn love. You feel like you have to do something in order to earn other people's love. I'm, but I'm sort of sensing someone who's more on the sensitive side. Okay, I'm not sensitive though. I'm emotional but not sensitive. Of cups, I feel like this is more when you're younger, or if you're younger now, like in your teens, or when you were a child. I feel like a lot of you guys like to escape in fantasy, or escape in books, escape in movies, escape in video games because you cue what I just said at the beginning of this video. It's like about traveling time, magic systems. Whoa. Okay, I'll I'll keep going with this phase where all you did was consistently read books or. You guys got lost in like a hobby, like drawing or watching like classic films or something like one of your natural gifts and, and talents is your intelligence. And I know sometimes when... Okay, I definitely don't think that I'm intelligent. You were younger, you had a hard time communicating what was on your mind. Maybe you had issues with small talk or conversations or maybe when you were younger, you really did None of that is true. I'm making a YouTube channel now even though I didn't used to be right now I'm really social and I can pretty much talk to anyone I love public speaking and I've been a part of my school's debate team and I also write a blog so the communication part is she looks like Halsey a speaker your life purpose involves your skills of orient oration <laughs> so guys i really feel like group number one i feel like in your life you are going to write a book or use language poetry storytelling spe public speaking um anything to do with using language written or spoken i feel like this is a part of your life purpose and this is likely what you're going to do as a career and a career that fulfills you because group number one i see in the cards it's your destiny to have a fulfilling career like oh my gosh i'm actually that's my biggest fear my biggest fear is like that i will not get the job that i want that like i'll fail in life and i end up being one of those people who get, got like so disappointed in their dreams that they just choose to like shit on everyone else's dreams let's hope it doesn't happen 
So you're not meant to work a job group number one where you just do it to pay the bills or you're not that passionate about it, but it's okay and it pays good. That's you are so meant cool. group number one to do something as a career that you are passionate about because both of these cards talk about okay, being- this is too good to be true. Well, first of all, one, that is exactly what I wanted my whole entire life and that's exactly what I dream about. But then also I feel like a lot of people have the exact same goal as me. And everyone wants that. Everyone wants a, like, a career that will be meaningful to their life and like to the world. Like a pushover, kind of like I have to earn other people's affection. But I see group number one, the older you get, the- Okay, that one's not true. I was never, ever, ever a pushover. I was the complete opposite of that. With the Saturn return, the more you're going to see this leadership, this confidence come out, where people are looking for your respect and trying to earn your love because you've grown so much as a person. I don't see those empathetic abilities ever going away in you, but I see your confidence growing, which is the most important thing. And I see you have the ability to inspire and lead others. I'm sensing group number one. I wish influencer or someone who uses their words as inspiration because we also have the inspiration i wish honestly i really wish that was me but then at the same time like when i think about it if if you go like really small scale then my blog kind of does that so maybe inspiration for other people who were like you kind of more insecure kind of worked for love someone who maybe didn't have the best past i see you inspiring other people who were just like you that's what i always wanted as a kid that was like what i said that i wanted to help and inspire people who were like me and by like me i meant kind of like misunderstood or just People think that I want to do, even though the last one was super accurate, and pick a different one and see if it's general enough for that to align to me too. Then pick a random, random, random one that just. So bad. I'm gonna add this in while editing this. So basically, what happened with the other ones was that um, none of them kind of like matched up, and some of them were like really weird. One of them, I think, actually talked about like ghosts and stuff, or sensing something, or something like that. I don't really remember, but it was like incredibly unapplicable. But what I'm also seeing is they also come to you in dreams. Wait, what? And they also come to you as so I was like, what the hell, that doesn't apply at all. And then the other ones also really didn't apply. There was only one that kind of applied, which I think was about like creative that I saw in like all of them that was really common was all of them talked about like somehow um, getting famous or like making it or something. So like that's what I kind of like touch on later on. But yeah, basically what I did, I picked like almost all of those and listened to uh, like two of them fully and then like parts of the other ones. I, why am I covering my mouth? This is so weird. Them applied because it was like about arts and stuff. That was the parts that I listened to. And then the other ones mostly didn't because they were like really weird. But I'm going to link the video down in the description. I hope I don't get copyrighted for this. And I feel like I'm done with this. So what's the verdict okay so first of all i would say that it is pretty general to the point where i feel like everyone can find something at the same time like what i caught on with every single one of them it talks a lot about like success and making it and something like happening out of nowhere which kind of like makes me think that that's like what people want to hear like, wouldn't you want to hear that you're going to be successful? So I feel like a lot of those, like, readings or whatever, just in order to, like, make it to be accurate or something, try to, like, touch on exactly what people would want in their lives to try to, like, hit that mark. And a lot of people really want to make it. Could be something there because, like, some of the things were, like, really weirdly accurate. While when I picked the other ones that didn't really apply, there were like some things, but it wasn't like completely good. Could be a fun thing to do, even though I still feel like it's kind of like more targeted to like give you exactly what you want to hear. And a lot of them are like super, super similar. So that's one thing that I noticed. I don't know if it's true, but here's my thing. 
If you're into it, if that's something that you like, then there's no shame in that. But just hear someone like predicting your future or telling you compliments about yourself. You think it's energy, you can think it's all a scam. You can think it's just for fun or you can think it's your destiny. The thing is, there's nothing that is 100% defined and there are things that we may never know. So just do whatever the heck you want, take it as you want. If, if anyone even watched this, which I highly doubt, don't forget to like, subscribe, or whatever the hell people say. Bye! The fuck?